I had somebody comment about the inverters and about the communication and some other things. And I just wanted to point out that these grow watt inverters have worked without a hiccup and they are not communicating with the uh, solar assistant. Okay. Now, I've, I've sent an email to the people at there at Solar Assistant and tried getting hold of them and stuff and so far I haven't been able to do that. They haven't responded. I'm going to give them a couple weeks. I do like it when it does work but it's not working with the new firmware for these inverters. But the thing is, is these inverters work all the time without ever having an issue. So. Do I get rid of inverters that I've never had an issue with? Or do I find me a different way to monitor my system? Okay. Well, that's pretty easy for me. I'd rather have a different monitoring system and have inverters that have never given me an issue. Okay. I might try to grow what stick I've got couple of them around here and I might go ahead and hook that up and see if I can get hooked up with that I kind of like the solar assistant if if I didn't have the new firmware on these inverters I'd be running the solar assistant but I'm gonna keep the uh, inverters so I like them. I'm going to keep running them. And hopefully Solar Assistant figures out how to get that to work with the inverters. I'll give them a couple weeks. i got other projects to do. So if uh, I, I have one guy coming on to my thing saying, oh, them grow watts, you need to replace them, all that, you know. Well, I've never had an issue with these grow watts. They provided all the power for my house. And I've, I've got way more power than I'm using right now. I mean, right now, if, if you can see, that first one over there is battery charge only. Okay. Next one's a host, and it's running at like 1.3% or something, you know, something crazy small. The next one, it's running it. Oh, it went up to three. You know, they're bouncing around. You know, it, it was 0 0.06 before, or 0 0.6. The other one's sitting there at zeros. Anyways, they're not working at all, really. And when they do ramp up, they handle all the power. Not, not, a, not a problem. So I've had them, you know, crank it out a lot more power. And I've never had an issue with them. They run flawlessly. And uh, I'd rather have something that's going to provide power all the time and not have an issue than have something that's going to have an issue and sends me the information on my phone. So we'll get it all. We'll get it monitored in one shape, way, shape, or another. And in the meantime, I'm just going to keep running these inverters because they do run really well and work really well together. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.